Hi. Today we'll talk about the most frequent solution of waste treatment, which are dump sites and landfills. Landfill is not a really good uh, sustainable solution. We don't really treat the waste, but we just store it in safe conditions. A landfill will create long-term effects on the water, surface water, on the ground water, we transfer to our children the responsibility and cost to manage our prison's waste and to manage this water in the long term. But the, reali the reality is that in most cases there are no other solution and landfill is the only affordable solution for the next years and we have to build and operate good landfill in order to protect human health and environment as much as possible. In all cases, after treatment and even after incineration, we still need landfill to store the residues of the treatments in every country. These are not landfill, but just dump sites. Here in Albania, in Peru, in Sao Tome, in Morocco or in India, we have everywhere the same problems. We have fire, water contamination, noxious smokes, strong odors, health danger for human and animals, stability hazards and environment destruction. Such open dump sites are still the world's most common disposal method. This has to be stopped and can be stopped. The first measure to take for a good operation is to close the site and limit access. It is important that nobody can come and no animals can enter the site. Recycling should be made and organized upstream in the town and not in the dump site for health and security reasons. Other point is to reduce the surface of dumping the waste. Every area which has not used are to be covered and we have to limit the working area to the very limited zone. This will avoid the presence of animals, reduce the water infiltration and reduce the production of leachates. Cover of non-active zone is important, can be done with inert material or earthen material. In any case, a water evacuation system should be realized in order to reduce as much as possible the infiltration of rainwater. Compaction is a key element for economy and ecology. Compaction allows to gain in volume in the landfill and this is also a cost reduction. But compaction also allows to stop the presence of oxygen in the waste. This is the best solution to avoid fire and limit the presence of animals like rats or insects in the waste. No fire, no smoke, no air, no animals. Compaction will also reduce the flight of the waste. The best for this is to use specialized trucks like this one, but the type of each is strongly depending on waste composition and climate. Compaction can also be done with the choice of the trucks pass in the surface of the landfill. For the environment, Dumping in high elevation will reduce the quantity of wastewater or leachate. The quantity of water going through the waste is depending on the surface, and, and, but not on the height of the waste. So if we are higher, we pr will produce proportionally less lixiviate. For that, we have to ensure a slope stability with a slope of one vertical to three horizontal, like this, one to three, for having a good stability in the outer flank of the landfill. It is also preferable to begin each floor by building an external dike and his cover, like this. First, we, const we build this dike, we can cover it, and then we begin to dump the waste without to be seen from outside. 
this will also limit a little bit the flight of the waste. Other point important is to reduce the flight of plastic and light waste. This is possible by stretching high vertical nets around the dump site, like here, or like here. For dump site, as well as for landfill, it is possible and necessary to build gas vertical drainage, gas flue. This allowed to burn the gas at the surface of the landfill. This can be do very simple using stones and uh, metallic tubes which can be elevated step by step with the waste. Gas drainage system allowed to capture the methane gas and to burn it. By burning the gas, you also eliminate the very bad smell and reduce the greenhouse effect of CH4, the methane. It is not perfect, but very efficient to reduce the odors and air impact. Drainage of the water is an important point as well as for landfill and for dump sites. There are two very simple and important drainage systems to be built, even if not perfect. Why is drainage so important in dump site and landfill? The reason is simple and geomechanic. If water accumulates into the body of the waste, it creates a danger of landslide or waste slides. This with terrible possible downstream dangers. The first drainage is for capturing the rainwater runoff upstream of the landfill all around, in order to avoid that big quantity of water enters the waste. The second drainage is on the bottom of the landfill. It's a simple horizontal drainage in the waste every three or four meters of elevation in order to avoid the accumulation of water and risks of landslides. This drainage can be made easy with stones or construction waste. It is also possible to combine the water drainage with the gas drainage. Realizing such dump site operation will largely reduce the impacts, but requires two conditions. Firstly, you need a certain amount of money for that operation, machines and manpower. And you need to define an engineer as responsible of the site operation. In a summary, we can say that first priority is to organize and improve the operation of the landfill or the dam site in order to close the site, stop fire. This needs to name and train a head of site operator and to decide a certain budget for dump site or landfill operations.